check, check. Lights rolling. Camera rolling. Camera rolling. Sound? Sound. I haven't got a sound man. There's no sound man. There's no sound. No sound. Cool. We met when? In, in 2000 and... Yeah. Nearly 10 years? Nine years, yeah. I've been in Brighton for eight months, um, which is where we are now. Hence the sea. I'm at Sussex University doing psychology. Legend. Legendary. So. I think finding out things about myself and other people was what sort of drew me towards psychology. I've always been a very deep thinker, even literally when I was as young as I can remember, I was always thought differently to other people, other my friends and stuff. But I did psychology at A-level, loved it. A great teacher, great course. And then I just threw myself into doing like self-study and learning things about it on my own. I would actually say what really, really helped me was working at the school. And one of the things that has been great working there is you can you watch students do a, a near 180 change. That's an incredible thing to watch. There are students that have left and that are there at the moment who, in, the, in three, four years of knowing them, they've completely turned things around. Before I got uh, very bad in 2012, I was definitely going to go to uni. Yeah. Um, but after that, I didn't really think that far ahead in the future. But I, I probably, there was a point where I thought, I'm not ready for uni, and I probably will never be able to go. That. I joined Stepping Stones in 2013 as a very broken child. I was in an awful, awful place. And for a while, I still really struggled. And then going to school was great, uh, meeting people, rehabilitating myself uh, around kind people. Yeah. It was nice to see that other people also had difficulties and that I wasn't, that I wasn't the only one that was growing up with struggles. Well, there were just some great people at Stepping Stones. Uh, well, what about the greatest hits of what we've done? What the we've greatest done? hits? It's not all about us. It's not all about us. It's not, it's not about, about you. Us. Well, we did rowing together. Yeah. We went rowing. That was a great experience. Um, Sundial. Sundial. Sundial was amazing. Mm -hmm. Performing on Sundial. That was incredible. That was a really big thing for me to do. We performed in front of hundreds. Hundreds of people. Yeah. I played the drums. You did the keyboard. Keyboard. And the uh, vocals. Yeah. The sing song. Oh, yeah. It's so important. Yeah. It's like that, that leap, that leap of faith that you have to make, the sense of satisfaction you get after it is, is so powerful and it, it hopefully, if you have the right outlook, it encourages you to keep progressing forward. But we can do so much more in life if we break things down into small chunks. Like, we seem to have forgotten that the way we learn anything when we were babies is by doing a little bit and then retreating and then doing a little bit more and then retreating. And as like, there's some amount of kids at um, school that thought because they couldn't do, they couldn't get from zero to a hundred in one step, that they were a failure. And it was, and then they just wouldn't try because they thought, oh, well, I can't reach a hundred immediately. Yeah. So I'm not gonna do it. And no one goes from zero to a hundred to start off with. If you think that something's too far away, then break it down smaller. And if you think it's too small, nothing's too small as long as you're, taking a little step forward. It's all about taking those steps. College was a big step, but I think as long as going into a completely unknown environment is going to scare you, but if you go into an environment that's got a bit of something you know and a bit of something you don't know, then that's the best way forward. Life is about finding that balance between like the known and the unknown. I guess. To take those steps and slowly build myself up along with the help of other people uh, that worked in the school, incredible people. And then I went to college for a year, 
moments? There were difficult moments, and to be fair, I, I did drop out. No, no. I mean, there it, it was it was great because I ended up working at Stepping Stones, which you know was one of the best things I ever did. So, and also, you guys, like, we're only twenty-two. We're so young. Yeah. Um, That's true. We shouldn't be giving advice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know really. Oh, we know. need advice. We need. I think advice. at every point in life, you're going to need. Bit of help by you. Every point of advice. No one ever stops learning about things. Yeah, yeah. There's always time. I see empleo de tiempo. Spanish? Spanish. Spanish. Tell me what you're doing in a couple months. I'm going to au pair in Mallorca for two months. Hello. Hola. Hola. How's it going? It's all right. How are you? So we're in Mallorca, uh, in a place called Palenza, which is near the top, of the top of the island. I look after. I'm with two twins, two eight-year-old twins. They're on my own. Here on my own. Yeah. In España, happy nice. endo español. The family really nice. The boys are great. Big step. Yeah. All right, Joe. Good to see you. Adios. Nos vemos. Bye-bye.